Good, good morning, everybody. How you doing? Welcome to Sales Funnel Radio. Welcome to Sales Funnel Radio, where you'll learn marketing strategies to grow your online business using today's best internet sales funnels. And now, here's your host, Steve Larson. Hey, what's going on? Hey, I, I'm actually, uh, it's morning time for me. It's about 6.18 in the morning. Uh, I actually got here a little bit late. Usually I'm here a little bit early, but um, my my mom and sister dropped in from Arizona and uh, we were just talking this morning. Love my mama. Um, she said something that's really interesting to me though. Um, she goes, hey, don't, you know, don't kill yourself, you know? <laughs> she said, hey, please don't kill yourself. She got up, um, my little girls were crying, so I got up and I got them some, Got got him some milk, you know, and uh, got up and got going. Uh, I, I get out here to the office early, about three hours before I need to, um, so that I can work for you guys and record and get some sweet stuff out and make you sweet sales funnels. But um, as I was leaving, she stopped and she goes, "Hey, make sure you make sure you don't kill yourself." And I was like, "I I appreciate what you're saying and I understand what you're saying, but I've been living at this pace for like three or four years now." She goes, "I know, I know, I know. You've been doing it for a while. Like that's fine." And, um, and she, she goes, she goes, but still like, make sure you do things for you. Like, make sure you take a break, you know? And and I said, well, I want you to know that I really want to make a lot of money in this life. (laughs) And she goes, ah, that would be nice. And I said, I, it would be nice, but like, I'm purposeful about it. You know, that's, I mean it. I want that to happen and I'm doing everything in my life for it to happen. And I've sold a lot of sales funnels and I've made good money. Right. But I want to really crank it up, right? And she goes, that, that would be so nice to make that much. And and how I would like a lot of money too. And I was like, no, no, you don't get it. Like, unless you say, I want to make a lot of money, you're not going to, right? Because everyone that I've talked to and everybody that I've coached and all the people that come to me for help, the people that say, I just really, like, it'd be cool to make that much money one day. Ha, ha, ha. You know, and nothing about their pattern changes. They're not going to make a lot of money. They're not. You're, you won't. Right, you have to actually be willing to tell people, yeah, I'm doing this uh, and working my butt off so that I can make a lot of money, and and I want to do it so I can keep serving people. Um, and that sounds, you know, oh, really Peter Panny of me, or you know, really <laughs> Robin Hood style right there. <laughs> but really, it, I just want to be able to go invest in people's businesses and and help it grow and help the American economy and stuff like that. Like I see the Shark Tank guys, and I'm like, yeah, like that's totally me. I'm totally gonna do that one day, <laughs> and. Um, but that's, that's all I really want to say is that like, unless you are serious about it, unless you're big about it and you say, yes, I want to go do this and yes, I want to make a lot of money and yes, I'm going to change my behavior, right? Change what I'm doing. You're not going to make a lot of money. You're not, right? Um, so right now, one of the main reasons I started doing this also is, so, is because I have a normal job. And so I wanted you to know that you can still make a crap ton of money on the side Right, that's why I'm three hours, you know, before um, my actual job starts. Right, I'm here early, kicking it, working hard. Right, I've been doing this for a long time, and and it works. You know, all I do is set a clear goal. Know I only have like three hours before work starts, and I gotta go crush it, and I and make and you know, turn a dollar. Right, and the other thing I wanted you to know is that you go like you can do it too, but you have to be serious about it. Um, there was a guy. Um, there was a guy, I, it was it stuck out to me a lot, right? I graduated from, from BYU-Idaho um, in, I got a marketing degree and, uh, and I remember as one of my last classes, this kid, it was a, it was a business strategy class and um, I remember it so clearly and I remember his face because what he said like just made me want to spit. I wanted to barf when he said it, just ugh. The guy was sitting near me and he raised his hand and I can't remember what the teacher, or, you know, the professor said or whatever and uh, he said, he raised his hand and he goes, yeah, one of the main problems I have is I just have, like, I know I should probably be an entrepreneur because I just have so many ideas and there's so many things I feel like I should go do and there's all this stuff that I want to get out there and, and crank out and and I just can't stop the ideas from coming. And in my mind, I was like, oh my gosh, shut up. <laughs> shut up. 
No one cares about your ideas. I don't care about your ideas. You barely care about your ideas because you're not doing anything about it. <laughs> oh man, was it, was it Benjamin Franklin that said, uh, he said, the, the value in the idea lies in the using of it. <laughs> I said, oh man, who cares? I don't care that you have a sweet idea. Nobody cares that you have a good idea. I don't care if you have a good idea if you're listening to this because it's not a good idea unless you've made a dollar with it, right? I share my ideas with everybody and the whole reason for it is because when you share the idea, it becomes more polished and 99.9% .9 of the time, no one ever does anything with your idea ever. I think I've had maybe one guy actually go out and do, you know, you know, someone, who, someone who's not already in this game, someone who's not already working hard and trying to do things in their life. I think I've only ever had one guy who's in that kind of scenario who actually went out and actually tried to do some cool stuff and uh, and do some things that I've, I, was, I was trying. The other people I have begged, I've sent books to, literally, I've sent, I went back to some of my teachers who were teaching marketing stuff. <laughs> I don't know if this is a jerk move or whatever, but um, uh, I sent them uh, some marketing books that <laughs> I told them it was, a, it was a little bit, I don't know, it was pretty forward, but I did tell them like, look, I learned more from this book than I did um, from a lot of the marketing things that you were teaching. Um, just know that and know that that's the reason why I was hustling like crazy while I was in the middle of your class. And I know you noticed that, right? And uh, anyways, <laughs> uh, the whole point is like, you got to hustle. You got to be willing to say, yes, I want to make a lot of money. And you got to be able to say that to everyone you meet. You have to be able to be willing to share your ideas. Your ideas don't mean a thing unless you actually go and do something with them, right? So share them with everybody. Get people's reactions. That's where the value of it is, right? It's like when you launch a product. You don't just put a product out there without seeing people, you know, people are going to buy it. That's suicide, right? I learned that the hard way, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have also. Years ago, I started making these different eBooks and products and things like that, and I just I put them out there, and no one had heard of it or seen of it ever, right? Well, go figure, no one purchased it, you know, for long. I had to drive ads hard for you know and things like that. Anyways, um, all I'm really saying is uh, you, you got to be purposeful, and I know I said that several times, but it's just such a clear lesson to me. Holy crap, nothing happened in my life until I actually went out and started being purposeful about it and raising my hand right to the sky and, and to the universe and to God and saying, look, I want it. <laughs> Give it to me, please, right? I am doing everything that would require me to make that kind of money, right? Sales guys are selling. I'm working and producing. People are fulfilling. I got a business running, right? And I am in in the spot where I'm most likely to make a ton of money. I'm already making good money, but I want to make a lot more, right? And that's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. It's really, it, it makes me laugh when people say, hey, um, you got to... <laughs> Write a business plan. Man, I hate business plans. I hate resumes. Resumes are crap, okay? Show me what you can do. Go do something. Stop planning dumb documents like, a, here's my business plan and here's my business model and this is our mission. It's like, cool, who actually is giving you a dollar? I don't give a crap, you know? And that, that's how I feel and that's true and I hate those. And any job I've ever had that has been worth anything has never asked for a resume, right? The best sales jobs I ever had, the best jobs where I was building for people, they didn't ask for a freaking resume. All I gave them was, hey, this is what I've done in the past. Go to these URLs, I built that, right? Go to this, I did that. Go to this, I did that. That's my resume. That's all people care about. They don't wanna read some piece of paper garbage that tells them, yeah, in college I had a 3.81 GPA, which is true, you know? But no, I don't care. And now that I graduated, I, you know, I got my diploma in the mail and it was a little bit more of a disheartening feeling than I, thought it would be because I got my diploma and I remember looking at it and just thinking like, huh, that's interesting. I don't, <laughs> I was expecting to feel like this huge amount of, you know, whoa, you know, this is nuts. But uh, I didn't feel any of that. <laughs> and it's like, huh, well, I work, college taught me that I can do hard things and it taught me how to problem solve. That's it. But it's mostly because I was hustling on my own. I don't really know what else I learned in college. <laughs> I'm not saying you shouldn't go to college, you know, especially if you're like a doctor or a lawyer, please go to college. Don't <laughs> I don't want anyone to be a brain surgeon and have a have an encyclopedia with a doctor terms sitting on the side while they're in, you know, the operating room. <laughs>
<laughs> but I looked at my resume and I was like, hmm, that's kind of cool. And it's just sitting in the same envelope it came in in my dresser. You know, I didn't frame it or anything. I'm sure I will one day or whatever, but, you know, because it was a big thing for me uh, to get it. But but I'm just in such a different mentality. I don't really care. <laughs> Anyways, I'm kind of rambling and ranting now, but the, all I'm telling you is that you've got to say and make the choice I want money, right? And you're not being prideful when you say that. You're not being greedy when you say that, right? Um, there's a really good book called The Science of Getting Rich. Um, it's a, Some of it's a little bit strange and out there, right? You know, like uh, every, everything is energy and money, and it's a little bit woo-woo, and I'm not really into that stuff. But there's some really good parts in there, though, where it talks about how um, it is the... How does it say it? It's the duty of every man who... Gosh, how does it go? It's it's the duty of every man to make more money uh, because of the betterment that it will re, you know bring him or if something like that. Um, but I, I read that and I was like, yeah, like I should not be so ashamed that secretly deep down I have a secret to make a crap ton of money. Like I've always had that desire, and it's been funny because I've a lot of times when people ask it, I feel like I have to code it with something, you know, like yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go make a lot of money, and the reason is I got to. Like I'm gonna go serve like crazy, which is true. I do want to go serve like crazy, and I want to invest in other businesses, and I do want to make the economy better, and I do want to go to build schools in Africa, you know. And I do want to go do all that stuff, but I also want to make a lot of money just because the game is really freaking fun, right? <laughs> and and I get addicted to it. It's just fun to go turn a dollar and uh, and deliver value to someone who gets really stoked about it, you know, and who's like, "This is awesome! I really, really want to make this, you know, or I really love your product." Like that's fun, you know. And I've done that several times now, and. Um, and I enjoy it. So that's the whole reason I built salesfunnelbroker.com is so that you can go and see a lot of sales funnels that will make you money, right? I've personally made money with probably about 90% of those funnels. It's that If you go to the free funnel section, um, that's where I keep a lot of obviously free funnels, but those funnel types are the ones I use to make money, you know, and I've used just about every one of them. And uh, one of them in there, we pulled like 60 grand and it was about two months, but it was all from an email campaign. You know, that's not a ton of money, but but it's a lot. You know, and um, we pulled twenty grand from in two days from one. And uh, anyways, go to the free funnel section in, in salesfunnelbroker.com. You guys can see that and be purposeful about trying to make money. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, I'm extremely religious. Uh, money is not the root of all evil, <laughs> right? The love of it is, and I do love the game, and I like to be able to have the means to help others. But I have to tell you though that that you know, I'd give it up, and uh, it's this is this is just. Uh, I was talking to to Russell Brunson once, and he said um, it's really interesting. He looked at me and he said, um, "You guys are all gonna ask like why I was talking and sitting next to him, but that'll be for another day." <laughs> but I was talking to them, and he's like, "You know, this this game is really fun, but it's really just something that we that we use to distract ourselves until we die, right?" What really matters is your relationship with your family, with your kids, with God. Um, I am religious, and if you're okay, if you're not okay with that, just know that I talk about God on this podcast, and I don't really care if I offend you. Um, it's it's similar to like the whole um, uh, be purposeful about making money, and people, you know, don't don't care what other people think when you say that. Well, same thing about God and offending. I don't care if I offend you, right? At some point, we see some play. I'm sorry, some point you gotta stand where you are and say this is where I am and I don't care if you don't like it. So I'll say things on this podcast, I'll say my, my opinions. I don't care if it offends you. That's your own choice to be offended. But um, so I'm gonna tell you and tell the listeners and tell everyone in the world, you know, cause you're gonna hear this podcast soon and the transcriptions will be on the blog and it'll be blast all over Facebook and I'll put, you know, $200 behind this article so more people can read it and I can increase my reach. Well, everybody who's listening to this know that I don't care if I offend you when I say I'm trying to make a lot of money and I'm religious, and I'm a family man, and I get up early and I bust my butt every day, that's where I stand. And so if you li if you're, if you identify with any of that, right, welcome to the podcast. <laughs> welcome to Sales Funnel Radio. Uh, this, I know this is not my first episode, but I'm just saying, welcome. Thank you for being here, and uh, we'll, we'll have fun on this journey together. So um, let's go crush it. So anyways, it's a little bit of a rant, this podcast, but I just wanted to put it out there. Um, write it on a piece of paper. I actually have a whiteboard on the top that says world domination. <laughs> not, I'm not trying to take over the world. I just think it's funny when I call it that. And it's it's my business plan though. Uh, and under the set, I don't write a business plan, but my business plan is one graph, 
That's it. It's the value ladder. That's it. At the bottom, I have the free thing that I'm going to give. And then as I move up, you know, the next thing I'm going to give that we'll, I'll charge for and the next thing I'll give that I'm going to charge for. And then next to each one of those things on the value ladder is how I'm going to market it. That's it. That's my, va <laughs> I guess that's my business plan. But I don't have like some cheesy crap that's like, here at Sales Funnel Radio, we will do our best to provide value to every customer and we'll make, <laughs> every customer will feel great. Customer satisfaction is our number one priority. You know, it's like, I hate that crap. Makes me, oh, uh, bah, it makes me want to barf. Like, I hate that. Oh my gosh. Corporate crap sucks anyways hey guys i'll talk to you later i know i've ended this like three times already but thank you so much please go to the free funnel section on the um on salesfunnelbroker.com download any of those sales funnels you want it does require that you have click funnels but you can get it under a trial so you can still get on there and make money with it um and then also if you guys have questions about sales funnels i have been building them hardcore i i don't even know how many hours thousands thousands and thousands and thousands of hours have been spent um, in, in click funnels for me. <clears throat> if you guys have any questions, go to salesfunnelbroker.com and up in the top, you'll see a button. Uh, it's either podcast or Hey Steve. Anyways, go to Hey Steve and you can click a button right on the website and it will record, just start talking and it will record a voicemail to me of your question. And I listen through those questions and uh, you know, I, I kind of vet them. And if your question gets on the show, um, I send you out a Hey Steve T-shirt. They look super cool. You'll see a picture of it on the on the uh, the actual uh, website there. So, anyways, send your questions over, and I'd love to uh, get you on the show. I'll give you credit for it. Obviously, say your name, where you are, uh, where you're from, and and I'd like to start answering your questions. I get a lot of questions on Facebook, anyways. I figured I might as well make them public and possibly answer other people's questions that are out there also. So, anyways, guys, I'll talk to you later, and uh, have a good one. Go make money. Thanks for listening to Sales Funnel Radio. Please remember to subscribe and leave feedback. Want to get one of today's best internet sales funnel for free? Go to salesfunnelbroker.com slash free funnels to download your pre-built sales funnel today.